Hello, I'm Sean from Let's Get Running and this video is aimed at people who are running half marathons, who are coming to their first half marathon and are looking to run a time perhaps just over two hours or around that two hour mark. Now, there's lots of different ways to train for a half marathon but I want you to think about your primary skill required for you to make this the best possible race for you. Now, for those who are running around that hour, uh, running the first one or around sort of the two hour mark, your primary skill needed is to build a strong aerobic base. So the key training, the key training method for you is to build, build that strong base by doing a regular routine of steady aerobic running. Now, if you're following a plan, make sure you listen to your body net. The most common cause of injury in all runners is taking on too much too soon. So I really advise you to, to not stick slavishly to the numbers and to, to make sure you're being consistent. A, one missed run is better than a week off missing training. With that in mind, I advise those who are uh, doing their first half marathon to try and choose a plan that might be based on time, their runs based on time, as opposed to distance. And the reason I think that is it enables you to be more consistent with your running. So, who knows what yeah, different your moves, the weather, the terrain is going to make to, to, to two 10k runs that can be completely different. But an hour run uh, at steady effort is always an hour run at steady effort. You can regulate your pace and your effort to make sure you can keep the things consistent and not push yourself too far. In terms of duration, if you are going for one of those time-based plans and you, you haven't got that, that target, I would aim for around 80% of your goal race time, so to cover about 80%, around two to three weeks before your big race. However, simply running will only get you so far. So there's two things I recommend that can really improve your enjoyment of the day for, that, for your half marathon race. The first is to include some form of, of speed work. Now, I would recommend either hills or strides. There's a separate video about strides uh, on our YouTube channel. Are a really great way of improving your brain to muscle communication, improving the strength and your power, but also the efficiency of your movement. And that's a really good thing to include uh, to, to make you run smoother and more efficient on race day. The second thing is to include some form of conditioning, that's really important. You're out there for a long time on your feet to improve your stability around the, uh, in your core, your knees and your ankles. And I really recommend following some kind of body weight conditioning routine. Focus on exercises that require stability with movement, that's, that's going to replicate best the challenge of running. My last tip is around your mental game. Now you're out there for a long time in the half marathon on your feet and it's going to be important to be able to concentrate through that whole period. Now, the most important thing you can do is to be positive. Now, we have a great example um, here, over here in Britain of a runner called Charlie Spedding. He won the bronze medal in the 1984 Olympics. And one trick he used is in the lead up to his race, every day he would say to himself that the Olympic final will be the best day of his life. Now, every day he said that when he came to the race, he was, he was, he was confident, he was relaxed, and he went out there and he ran the best race he could he came home with that, that bronze medal. So you, obviously we're not going to be doing the same, running the same speed as Charlie, but you can use that tactic. Be positive about it, no negative thoughts in the lead up to this race. The other thing you can do, obviously when you are running, you've got to focus on, on what you're doing. So what I would do is when the lead up to your race and your training, think of how easy, relaxed running feels. Are your arms relaxed? Are your shoulders smooth? Are you leaning forward slightly? What are you doing with your face? Think about maybe three or four checkpoints that make you envisage fast, relaxed running. During the race, every 10 minutes perhaps, think back to those, those three cues. Are my shoulders relaxed? Am I moving my arms smooth? Is my face nice and relaxed? Those mental cues, those technique cues, really keep you in the moment and are good things to cover. Now, if you're having trouble with coming up with a plan, we do that. There's lots of plans you can get from our, from our training club. The link below is in the bio uh, or in the comments below on YouTube. Have a look, let us know what you think, but otherwise, good luck with your running.